What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Box Office Banner and Colt Flick Symposium. Here to talk to you about a little movie called Imaginary. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. Didn't have a lot of high hopes for this movie, but anymore, I pretty much see every horror movie. And then I saw the buzz around it. I try to stay away from these reviews, people. For the most part, sometimes I'll just be interested. This one kind of snuck up on me. I can't remember how I saw it. But I was like, oh, that's not a good score. And then I kind of looked at IMDb, and I was like, ho, 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 I might be in even for more than I bargained for in terms of how much I'm not going to like this movie. Blumhouse, man, just it's pretty overall. They, there's some things in there. I just, if it's a Blumhouse movie at this point, I pretty much know I'm probably not going to like it, or I might think it's okay to barely good which this movie was to me. Yes, surprisingly. Imaginary was... Maybe it's just because, like, you know, like, one of my best friends, my best friend was, like, with me, man, and uh, we saw it. You know, my family's there, too. We're sitting next to each other, and we were, like, you know, we were having those moments where we were laughing at it, you know, kind of like, okay. And that made it more entertaining, but this movie wasn't bad. It wasn't executed perfectly, but it wasn't executed badly either, and the concept is kind of cool. It really reminds me of an old Disney show. Don't look under the bed in a way, in the way it's captured. And this is classic, you know, a lot of people, you know, I don't really like CGI. There's something done with the bear in this movie that honestly, quite frankly, looks fucking ridiculous. But as somebody that's like an 80s monster movie fan with makeup and effects and even like the bad makeup looks good because it just takes you back to that era pretty cool in this movie if you can kind of be in that wavelength that vibe if you kind of are picking up what i'm putting down i'm not talking about like special effects guru moments like american werewolf and london transformation scene i'm talking like it looks pretty janky and messed up at times but yet there's still this somehow love for it because it's not like cgi and i gotta say these moments i'm talking about with these special effects that are practical there's moments it actually looks really good like in the darkness but then when it's like come out to play right in front of you you're like okay that looks like what the fuck is that but it's like a fun like oh, like even when it doesn't look good you're still like that's kind of cool in some weird way and like what is that you know you're laughing with it whereas cgi you're just like bro the cgi I respect them for that. And the story and the plot line, the way it rolls along, you know, I don't think it's necessarily, like, all that good, but it's not bad either, especially for a movie like this. It kept me more engaged than most of these, like, cheap Blumhouse movies. They just roll out, and then you forget about them a month later. <clears throat> so maybe lower expectations help there. And all the actors, good. It's got a little twist in the middle of it that wasn't, fucking mind-blowing like you maybe see it coming but it at least kind of shook the movie up a bit to kind of like knock you off your feet a little not knock you off you're like this is amazing but you know knock you off your feet to like regain your balance like okay yeah he shifted the goalpost a little bit let's see where we go with this <clears throat> there was enough to keep me invested is this a great movie hell no is this a really good movie probably not but is it good as a one-off watch at the movie theater with a friend if you're in the right frame of mind i think so Imaginary was a little better than I think people are giving it credit for. <clears throat> and I got to give it credit for that. So if you've not seen Imaginary yet, and you're like me, and you're kind of like, fuck that, you probably don't need to see it <laughs> after everything I've just said, because it's probably not going to blow your mind. But you might not be as mad as you think you're going to be. Or maybe I'm, maybe this is my one off, you know, my one off where it's just like everybody's got that one. It's like, it's actually pretty good. And they're like, no, bro, it was not. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, my bad. I fucked up. I rewatched it. It's terrible. You're right. It was because I was with my best friend. We were joking around. But seriously, guys, I don't think this is a bad horror movie. I think it's a one off watch horror movie that maybe somebody brings it up six years down the road. And you're like, I, I did watch that. And you're like, yeah, I mean, it was okay. Yeah. I mean, I remember that though. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Everybody forgot about the movie. I know. Like, I mean, I remember it was hated on, but I didn't think it was that bad. It's that conversation, you know? So you're going to watch it? Like, maybe, do you want to watch it again? No, nah, I mean, not to say I'm going that far, but, you know, it was, it was all right. <laughs> yeah. This movie, I think, uh, maybe being a little too hated on. Um, check this out, man. Um, if 
this is your kind of thing and you're kind of like eh, standoffish because of the reviews it's not the worst Blumhouse movie I've ever seen. I'll give it that. Uh, but yeah, I'm giving this a 6.8 out of 10. Yeah, it almost got really good. And honestly, it's more like 6.2. But I just had a lot of fun with like a bunch of stupid shit in the movie that really doesn't deserve points for. <laughs> but it's not bad to me. I don't understand why this one's so much lower than a lot of the other Blumhouse crap that gets passes. Uh, definitely check this out. Maybe I'm just that mad that it's like on such a lower scale and maybe I'm boosting up a little more for that. I don't know, but I didn't think it was horrible, guys. Uh, check out Imaginary if this is your thing. Love you guys. Peace.